Thank you all for being here. Today, we'd like to discuss with you what we believe is the future of local AI and machine learning for language learning, and what we're doing at Colabs to make that into a reality. Now, bringing you back to a couple of months ago, working in an AI startup on audio models that you talk with over the phone, I was confused because my system wasn't working. Now, as I looked into this, I came across words like error and error, which when I say it, sound the exact same. And when I hear native English speakers say it, also sounds the exact same to me. And so clearly this wasn't something that was like on the language model, or the audio model, which was super frustrating to me. It's not something I could just code up a solution to and fix. It's like I needed to work on my own pronunciation. And so I looked into it, I went to researching, and I came across this super interesting statistic. Nearly half of all foreign speakers struggle with their accent. So I was not alone. Now, why is pronunciation so hard? Well, mainly, hearing the difference between what you're saying and what you're supposed to be saying is super difficult. And then once you actually hear that difference, actually producing sounds that you've never made in your native language is also super difficult. So why isn't this solved? Well, existing solutions struggle with either being too expensive, too tedious, or a combination of both. Like if you get in-person language coaching lessons, that's upwards of $200 an hour, and you've got to set aside like an hour a week every week for these lessons. And cheaper solutions like digital language learning apps, they suffer from not being actionable and precise enough to get the feedback you need to improve. And so you can quickly realize that precision and accuracy is incredibly important in a language learning tool. And so naturally, most people lean towards machine learning to be able to aid this problem. But the difficult part about language is that in its beauty, it has a lot of variation in dialect and accent. And so being able to determine what correct means in language is quite difficult. And therefore, deeming a ground truth for the machine learning model is also quite difficult. But what we realized really quickly is that this variation is well represented in movie and TV shows. And so, what we can do instead is place the autonomy on users to be able to choose the entertaining clips that they want to watch, where the actors serve as the ground truth and point of reference for the accent feedback that a user receives. And what this presents is a very powerful idea of dialect-sensitive language learning. And we believe we're the team to be able to enable such a future as immigrants and children of immigrant parents ourselves. My name is Aruna. I'm half Japanese and half Indian, and I'm passionate about natural language processing and multilingual research. I'm Alex. I grew up in Denmark, and I've been doing a lot of audio model research for specifically low resource languages. Hi, I'm Ruslan. I'm originally from Kyrgyzstan. I'm half Russian, half Ukrainian. I'm also a fellow researcher. Uh, and now we're going to go into our demo, starting, fir uh, starting first with a short clip from the office. All these cards, and now I am recruiting you. Who is this guy again? Don't worry about Phil. He drives a Corvette. He's doing just fine. Okay. <laughs> Calling cards are the wave of the future. Here, Alex is going to demonstrate the practice mode. Calling cards are the wave of the future. As you can see, Alex struggles to pronounce the R sound, and the tool is able to easily pick up on that. It's highlighted in red and selected as an area of improvement for him. Here, he's going to click in to see detailed feedback on exactly what phonemes he gets wrong in comparison with the actor and with diagrams to help him improve for next time. So you might be wondering how this actually works. Well, we first start by transcribing the user's input into IPA, a sound-sensitive alphabet that can capture the differences in how you pronounce different phonemes like a uh and a. Uh. Then we compare the user's IPA transcription with the actor's IPA transcription, layering them on top of one another. This process allows us to find exact differences and nuances between the two, allowing us to surface direct and actionable feedback back to users. Now, when we were initially building this tool, we were under the assumption that existing phonemic transcription models were at a state where we would be able to seamlessly integrate them just as is. But let's take a look at a clip um, which starts off as, Hello, San Francisco. Hello, San Francisco. Simple and easy, and we're going to use the top performing phonemic transcription model to be able to generate the IPA, and then we'll resynthesize it. This is going to sound amazing. Hello, San Francisco. Perfect, Hello, right? San Francisco. So, even the best phonemic transcription models at the time were missing some critical phonemes, meaning that the feedback we would give to users based off of these existing models would contain quite a few errors. And so when we developed our phonemic transcription model, it was critical that we evaluated carefully on both phonemic error rate 
and a word feature edit distance. Both of these you can read on our blog. The math says a lot, but most importantly, it says that we're the best. And so <laughs> with our phonemic transcription model, you can see that we achieve state-of-the-art performance. And in less than three months, we achieve this for a lightweight model that is integratable into our platform and has viability to be used across language learning tools. And so through this, we also open source everything from the model weights to the code that was used for fine tuning to the hyperparameters, meaning that not only can anyone reproduce our work, but also be able to build upon it. And this is a really powerful concept that we really believe in at Coel Labs. Additionally, as we begin to branch out into more languages, it is important to us that we focus on multilingual expansion. This is a very involved process and requires extensive research such that we are collaborating with esteemed researchers across the world to be able to develop a product that is not only technically impressive, but also can be used by millions across the world. And that's why it's also critical that we get early user feedback to be able to demonstrate that this is a product that can be used by so many. And so, that is why we formally invite you to be able to discover what we believe is the future of language learning and the future of dialect-sensitive language tools. Thank you.